You should know for every disease we know, overweight is going to increase your risk of dying. But the good news, if you are obese, but you exercise every day, you will live longer than the person who is normal weight who doesn't exercise. Now that we know with the proper lifestyle, you can decrease heart attacks and strokes 80%. In the realm of nutrition, public health, and preventative medicine, few names shine as brightly as Dr. John Scharfenberg, who is 100 years old. Known for his pioneering contributions and passionate advocacy for plant-based nutrition, Dr. Scharfenberg has devoted his life to enhancing human health. His journey, spanning over nine decades, is an inspiring testament to a lifetime dedicated to health and healing. Born on December 5, 1923, in Glendale, California, Dr. Scharfenberg's curiosity about health and human biology started blossoming at an early age. After serving in the United States Army during World War II, he began his medical journey by studying medicine at Loma Linda University, where he would later become a prominent figure. Dr. John Scharfenberg is a physician and professor of nutrition who has worked at Loma Linda University. As an esteemed author of several books on health and longevity, he has dedicated his life to understanding and sharing the keys to a long and healthy life. Being a centenarian, he tells us that long and healthy living is nothing more than just a few simple changes to your diet and lifestyle. In his interviews, he says that anyone can live to be not just older, but also healthier for longer and get the most out of their body if they adopt small changes into their lives every day. Dr. Scharfenberg is a strong advocate for regular physical exercise. His recommendations align with the guidelines put forth by many health organizations, including at least 150 minutes of moderate aerobic exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous activity per week, coupled with strength training exercises twice a week. His emphasis is not just on the type of exercise, but also on its regularity. Walking, he often points out, is one of the most beneficial forms of physical activity that can easily be incorporated into our daily routine. Now, sometimes, not to walk, but to go up steps or down steps, I sometimes need a little bit. The first key to a longer life is exercise, and Dr. Scharfenberg put it at the very top of his list because of how important it is to the scheme of one's life. He mentions that even if a woman is obese, exercising regularly can help her outlive an average weight woman who doesn't exercise. And a man who smokes and has high blood cholesterol and hypertension but exercises can outlive a man without those issues who doesn't exercise. If a woman is obese, mm -hmm. but she exercises every day, she will outlive the normal weight woman who doesn't exercise. If a man smokes and he has high blood cholesterol, has high hypertension, yeah. but he exercises, he will outlive a man who doesn't have any of those problems, who doesn't exercise. Pointing to historical events, he shows that early settlers who worked on farms and had physically demanding lifestyles had fewer diseases despite smoking and consuming dairy and meat. So regardless of your diet or your day-to-day -day routine, research has shown that if you make it a habit to exercise consistently for at least 30 minutes every day, the chances of you contracting age-related ailments such as high blood pressure or a wide range of neurodegenerative diseases is lowered significantly. It improves our cognitive function and metabolism, reduces the risk of chronic diseases, and boosts our mood by releasing endorphins, the feel-good hormones. Dr. Scharfenberg recommends running for people who can do it, but says that whatever you choose to do, make sure you enjoy it. Whether going for a brisk walk in nature, swimming laps at the local pool, practicing yoga or tai chi, cycling through scenic routes, or dancing to your favorite music. The key is to find something that you look forward to and that fits into your lifestyle. Remember, it's never too late to start incorporating exercises into your routine. The exercise aims to get the heart and muscles rolling to improve the cardiovascular system. Since the cardiovascular system is linked to all other elements of your well-being, if you can keep that in check, you'll likely improve your body's longevity. This is a one-size-fits-all solution because there is no way for exercise to be bad for anybody at any age. Studies with Alzheimer yeah. has shown that middle-aged exercise can help reduce the risk. The key to maintaining good health, according to Dr. Scharfenberg, is mitigating risk factors that contribute to cardiovascular diseases, strokes, and heart attacks. He reveals that by avoiding seven risk factors, which include tobacco, alcohol, inactivity, obesity, excessive meat and sugar consumption, hypertension, and high cholesterol, one can decrease their risk by 80%. 
Excessive alcohol consumption can lead to liver damage, heart disease, and addiction. If you currently smoke, it's never too late to quit. Seek support from healthcare professionals, join support groups, or consider nicotine replacement therapies. Quitting smoking is one of the most beneficial steps for your long-term health. Dr. Scharfenberg shares the findings of a comprehensive study funded by Bill Gates, suggesting that there is no safe level of alcohol consumption. Even minimal alcohol intake can increase cancer risk, making abstinence the best choice. Do you drink any alcohol? No, never have. Similarly, tobacco has been linked to various diseases, including breast cancer. Individuals can safeguard their health and enhance their longevity by avoiding these substances. Diet plays a significant role in longevity, and Dr. Scharfenberg, for one, is a staunch believer in the benefits of a vegetarian diet. Dr. Scharfenberg eats a plant-based diet. Diabetes is decreased 88% by simply addressing the, the diet issues and the lifestyle. The lifestyle, yeah. Reflective of the Seventh-day Adventist principles, which he believes benefits individual health and also contributes positively towards global environmental sustainability. He suggests eating various fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and nuts, all packed with vital nutrients that aid in maintaining a healthy body. He stresses the importance of eating whole foods over processed ones. He advises avoiding refined sugar, artificial sweeteners, and highly processed foods, often containing harmful additives. Instead, he recommends natural sweeteners, such as dates, and encourages eating meals prepared from scratch to ensure the nutritional integrity of the food. Hydration, according to Dr. Scharfenberg, is equally important. He promotes regular water intake and emphasizes that sugary drinks should be replaced with healthier alternatives like herbal teas and freshly squeezed juices. Vegetarians tend to live longer and have a lower risk of diseases than non-vegetarians. Being a deeply religious person, he posits that the original diet described in the Bible was vegetarian, and research shows that vegetarians have a reduced risk of diseases and significantly improved general fitness and lifespans. He even made a case for this in his book, Vegetarianism. After tobacco and alcohol, the consumption of meat is probably the greatest single cause of death in the Western world especially the United States. World health statistics have consistently shown that countries consuming the most meat have the highest rate of diseases. We need to focus on the consumption of natural, non-processed foods, a variety of fruits and vegetables, and proper portion control for ideal weight are essential elements of a healthy diet. This is why he maintains that Japan has the longest life expectancy of any country. Most of the centenarians there have lived off their land. They grew, harvested, and cooked their meals. But most importantly, they were vegetarian. But to fill your quota of fat, he recommends consuming essential fatty acids found in plant-based sources, such as linoleic acid found in most plant fats and alpha-linoleic acid found in flaxseed and chia seeds. Animal fats are strictly off the table. If you're new to a plant-based diet, it's important to transition gradually. Start by incorporating more plant-based meals into your week, such as a colorful salad or a hearty vegetable stir-fry. Experiment with different herbs and spices to enhance the flavors of your dishes. Rest is another important aspect of longevity. Getting enough sleep and proper rest is crucial for overall health. He champions the importance of taking this seventh day off each week to rest and rejuvenate, a principle that stems from his Seventh-day Adventist faith. Dr. Scharfenberg acknowledges the importance of adequate rest and stress management in promoting longevity. He advises getting the proper amount of sleep, typically around 7 to 8 hours a night. During sleep, our bodies repair and rejuvenate, helping to support optimal brain function, memory consolidation, and hormone regulation. To improve the quality of your sleep, establish a relaxing bedtime routine. Create a peaceful sleep environment by ensuring your bedroom is dark, cool, and quiet. Limit exposure to screens and electronic devices before bed, as the blue light emitted can interfere with sleep patterns. Practice relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing or gentle stretching, to prepare your mind and body for a restful night's sleep. Maintaining a positive attitude and having faith are the best remedies for reducing stress levels. Cultivating a positive mindset involves shifting our focus toward gratitude, embracing optimism, and practicing self-compassion. Surrounding ourselves with positive influences, nurturing healthy relationships, and engaging in activities that bring us joy and fulfillment can contribute to a more positive outlook on life. About social relationships, do you have one or two friends that you can borrow money from? <laughs> if you can, that's a good social relationship. <laughs> 
It's important to remember that developing a positive mindset takes time and effort. Be patient with yourself, practice self-care, and celebrate small victories along the way. According to Dr. Scharfenberg, stress management is nothing more than having an excellent social network of friends and family that you can meet and talk to regularly. There is no working around this point. They are crucial for you to experience healthy, positive emotions and lower the levels of cortisol in your body. He does acknowledge that it's impossible to have people you love around you all the time. To take care of your mental health in solitude, the best you can do is to adopt a positive attitude and trust in God. It will bring stillness in your life and give you peace. Work on adopting healthy stress management techniques such as meditation and prayer and spending time in nature. To minimize the detrimental effects of stress on your health is vital. Chronic stress can profoundly impact our physical and mental well-being, contributing to a range of health issues. Engaging in outdoor activities, such as walking in a park or hiking through the woods, can help us reconnect with the natural world and find inner peace. Finding time for hobbies, creative outlets, and leisure activities is good, as they provide a much-needed break from the demands of daily life, allowing us to recharge. Having a sense of purpose in life is crucial. Dr. Scharfenberg believes that having a clear purpose gives us the motivation and fulfillment necessary for a long and meaningful life. Having a sense of purpose gives us a reason to wake up each day with enthusiasm and a drive to make a positive impact. It can give our lives direction and meaning, contributing to our overall well-being and longevity. Finding your purpose is a deeply personal journey. It may involve exploring your passions, identifying your values, and aligning your actions with what truly matters to you. Your purpose may be related to your career, personal relationships, community involvement, or even a lifelong passion or hobby. Once you've discovered your purpose, take steps to incorporate it into your daily life. Find ways to integrate your passions and values into your work, relationships, and activities. Cultivate a sense of fulfillment by pursuing meaningful experiences and making a difference in the lives of others. Remember, your purpose may evolve and change over time. Embrace new opportunities. Remember, each journey is unique and it's essential to listen to your body, seek guidance from healthcare professionals, and adapt these principles to your circumstances. Small steps can lead to significant transformations. Even the smallest positive change can make a profound difference in your life. So let this message be one of hope. No matter your age or current circumstances, you can shape your future. Embrace the possibilities that lie ahead and believe in your ability to create a healthier, happier, and more fulfilling life.